question was, what effects do antibiotics have on the growth of E. coli and M. luteus? E. coli is a gram negative, which means it is bacteria that does not retain crystal violet dye. These cells are typically rod shaped and encompasses an enormous population of different types of bacteria. E. coli is a foodborne pathogen that can cause major food poisoning. M. luteus is a gram positive. M. luteus is typically found in soil, water, air, dust, etc. M. luteus is resistant by slowing of the metabolic process. Since the M. luteus is gram positive, these particular organisms appear to be violet when stained using the gram stain technique. Penicillin is a group of antibiotics, each containing different names that come from the penicillium fungi. Penicillin was the first drug in the world to stop many of the extremely harmful diseases that many doctors and biologists did not know how to cure. Penicillin is less active against gram, pos gram negative bacteria and way more effective with gram positive bacteria. Tetracycline is an antibiotic that is specifically used to fight bacteria or bacterial infections. Overall, both gram positive and negative are equally effective regarding tetracycline, which is a broad spectrum. Specifically, tetracycline stops the protein synthesis. Chapter Streptomycin is a type of antibiotic that is clinically used for treating tuberculosis. Streptomycin is an antibiotic that fights gram-negative bacteria. Our hypotheses are, if we test E. coli with the three antibiotics, then streptomycin will be the most effective because streptomycin is most effective at controlling gram-negative bacteria. If we test M. luteus with the three antibiotics, then penicillin will be the most effective because penicillin is effective with gram-positive bacteria. First, with a sanitized stick, we spread M. luteus and E. coli on two separate trays. We separated the tray into four sections by labeling it on the bottom of the tray. We then put the discs that had the antibiotics on them into the four sections of the tray. Then we waited two days to record our results. Here's our sh chart showing our conclusion data. The dependent variable was M. luteus in the E. coli growth. Our independent variable was the antibiotics. Our sample size was one disc per four bacteria. And other research questions that we could ask would be, what other antibiotics fight these bacteria?